Okay, so it is now time to review the long-awaited Human Centipede 3. I have done the first two movies, and it is time to do the third. And I'm sorry it's taken so long to get this video out to you guys. I know you guys have wanted me to get this video out for a long time. And I promised you guys, if you guys got 5,000 views on the second video, which I believe it's at like 25,000 views now, I would do this review. So clearly, you surpassed that. And yeah, it is finally time to bring you guys the Human Centipede 3 review. Unlike the other ones, I'm not actually going to give a grade at the end of this video. I'm going to make one more Human Centipede video. I'm going to do a review video where I review all three movies, give them each a leather grade, and kind of say what I, my overall thoughts of the series, what I think of each individual movie, and yeah. Also, I have reviewed Tenet, which is a newer movie, and I have reviewed Good Time, which is one of my favorite movies. So I would highly appreciate it if you guys would check those out. But no, it's time to get into the Human Centipede 3 storyline, the plot. And my job is to explain the plot so you guys don't have to watch it. But with that being said, let's get right into the story. The Human Centipede 3 final sequence starts off by showing us the end of the second movie and just like the previous movie reveals a man is watching it on television. The man watching the movie is Bill Boss, a chaotic, stupid, ridiculous, perverted, and aggravating prison warden played by Dieter Laser. To be in good taste, I feel like it's important for me to mention that sadly the actor Dieter Laser who played uh, Dr. Hyder in the first movie and who plays Bill in this movie sadly passed away and I feel like it wouldn't be appropriate if I didn't mention that knowing that I do give the Human Centipede movies a hard time and know that if I hate on his character it has nothing to do with him as a person and it all has to do with his character and how he was written and yeah, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. After watching it, we then meet his second-hand mate, Dwight Butler, played by Lawrence R. Harvey. It is revealed that Dwight showed Bill the movie, and when asked for his opinion, let's just say Bill is not a fan. I fucking told you these movies would be shit, and they are pure shit, literally. They stink. I think this is the only thing I will ever agree with Bill on. Next, we are introduced to Daisy, played by Brie Olsen, who is clipping Bill's toes. She accidentally misses a clip, pissing Bill off. Before the movie goes on, I think now would be a good time to put a big trigger warning on the screen. I haven't done it in any of my reviews prior to this one, but I feel like this one has a little bit more offensive material in it than the other movies. And that's why on the poster, it advertises 100% in politically correct. And it's definitely very obvious that that is the case. So I'm just giving a little trigger warning here. So after Daisy finishes, she mentions how Bill probably did not like the movie because it was crazier than he is. That was a mistake. He licks his finger and shoves it up her special zone extremely hard, which is awful and I hate him even more for. Next, we see Bill walk through the prison cell area where we see an officer was attacked. Bill walks over to the guilty prisoner. I recognize that guy. Oh yeah, it's Tom Lister Jr. from The Dark Knight, a great and amazing movie. And specifically, he was in one of my favorite scenes of that movie, the very intense boat scene. What is he doing in this movie? After blurting some n-words with the hard R at the inmate, he breaks his right arm, where then Dwight tells him to stop for financial reasons. God Turn him around, belly down. What the hell is the music during this scene? I truly don't know what the director, Tom Six, nor the music producer of this movie were thinking. I truly don't. It sounds like something out of iMovie. And I'm not trying to hate on them at all, but at the same time, I truly, this is atrocious. It sounds like something straight out of iMovie. It truly does. It sounds like a free sample sound out of iMovie that was thrown together in the scene. And yeah, it, it, it's bad. Then Bill goes to his office and acts crazy, goes to his doctor's appointment, and waterboards an inmate. His daily routine. Daisy notifies Bill that the mayor will be visiting the prison in 20 minutes, so he needs to be quick. In the next scene, we see the mayor getting driven into the prison. And who is the mayor played by? Dun-da-da-da! None other than Eric Roberts. 
another great actor from The Dark Knight. Man, like, I don't know why people from The Dark Knight out of nowhere want to be in The Human Centipede 3, but they are. When he meets up with Bill and Dwight, he tells them that they are doing a horrible job, and in two weeks he will visit again. If things are not fixed upon his return, the prison will be shut down. So the first idea Bill has to fix things up is to personally castrate each of the prisoners. So then he calls all the prisoners to the main middle section where he picks a random prisoner to test the procedure. Procedure. The prisoner is escorted and Bill personally cuts his balls off with no pain medication. Afterwards, he rubs the blood all over his face and says to save the balls because he will cook them up and eat them for dinner. Next, Bill is forcing Daisy to please him. Then it's time for dinner where he seasons the prisoner's balls. What the hell is this movie? I don't understand how merging a ton of gross concepts together even is considered to be a movie. This movie is so awful, pointless, absurd. It just gets under your skin watching this movie. I don't recommend watching it. After this, he goes back to the medical area and breaks the Dark Knight prisoner's fingers. Then he goes to the castrated prisoner and starts choking him until he is nearly dead. Then the doctor must zap some life back into him. Sometime later in Bill's office, Dwight states that he has a great plan that will hopefully pass the mayor's prerequisites. And his plan is, dun dun da da turning the prison into one giant human centipede. Plus, it was even backed up by the doctor. Bill says no. Next, Bill has a dream that he gets raped by the castrated prisoner. Upon waking up, he decides to accept the centipede idea, and for copyright reasons, they get Tom Six himself to give them permission. He grants them permission with one circumstance. They must let him watch the operation. To make sure the prisoners are on board, they show them the first two films. This causes a major riot where Daisy gets beat up, Bill jumps out a window to crawl to safety, and things get out of hand. Luckily for Bill, the FBI saves the day. This scene tries to be intense to the best of its ability, but it honestly fails in every way. I mean, I don't... The scene is not intense. It, it, it tries to be, but it's not. And the fact that it actually wants to be intense and wants to be, you know, this person gets slapped, everything's going on. He jumps out the window and slowly crawls to safety. It's just so... It's just not intense. It does not work. Nothing in this movie works. There are a couple of patients who have some issues that need to be brought up before creating the centipede. One has Crohn's disease, so he has constant diarrhea. Since the castrated prisoner raped him in his dream, he says to put him in front of him. Poor fella. Then for the other guy, whose anus is sewn shut and he digests through a bag, Bill yanks the bag off and then shoots him in the hole, getting blood and shit all over his gun. It's disgusting. The doctor brings another patient to him who is paralyzed and in a wheelchair, and Bill of course also shoots him. Finally, we get to Daisy, who is in a coma from the rioting. Dwight, finally trying to take the role of a hero, sternly tells Bill that she should be treated at a regular hospital. Bill says no and goes on to rape her while she is in a coma, which is disgusting, wrong, and aggravating and makes me hate Bill even more, which I've already hated him the whole movie. Next, they wait eagerly in their office for the surgery to be complete. Tom Six arrives to see what the action looks like up close. As they are walking to the surgery area, one of the prisoners is excited to be in the centipede, and Bill says that no one is allowed to enjoy it, so he gets shot. Even Tom Six thinks Bill went too far. Then we see some of the surgery happen. Bill tells Tom that he is a surprise for him, where he ends up puking at the sight. Since I'm not showing it, it is basically people getting their arms and legs cut off before getting sewn together. Finally, it is time for the mayor to see if they have fixed up their prison. The centipede is consistent of 500 prisoners along with Daisy who was accidentally sewn into the mix. As for the prisoners who are on death row, they were sewn into the human caterpillar. Basically the human centipede without arms or legs and is the sight that Tom Six saw when he puked. When it comes to prisoners finishing their sentences, they can be removed and will have scars around their lips as Bill shows the mayor. The mayor is still not happy with the solution. This is a violation of human rights. It's certainly a violation of federal ethics. Oh God, I am fucked. You insane freaks will get the death penalty for this.
Bill tries to tell the mayor that it was Dwight's idea, but he leaves anyway. Bill is super sad from this and knows his career is over, so he points the gun at his head. However, out of anger, Bill points his gun at Dwight's head because it was Dwight's idea. And right before he shoots Dwight, the doctor walks in. The doctor is super proud of the accomplishment that they have done and is unaware of the mayor's opinion. Therefore, Bill shoots him. Then he points the gun back at Dwight. Luckily for Dwight, the mayor walks in and says he has a change in heart and is happy with the idea. He stated that it might even have him elected as president. The mayor leaves and then Bill hugs Dwight but shoots him because he wants all the credit for the human and centipede idea. And it ends with Bill being naked in the tower thing, yelling as all the presidents are in the centipede. And yeah, the end. So yeah, that was The Human Centipede 3. And again, I'm not really going to give my review to this movie in this video. I'm going to have one more video where I just give my thoughts on all three movies. And while I did give reviews to the other two, I, I think I did a poor job. And I'm not really happy with, with what I said. But no, yeah, guys. So thank you so much for watching this. Again, I'm kind of doing some normal reviews too. So if you guys want to check those out, that would help me out a lot. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, thank you for watching. Comment any suggestions. Like the video if you liked it. Disliked it if you disliked it. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.